Hello guys, and today I'm going to show you the bizarre case of where something looks like a checkmate, but by um, appearing to do offer a queen exchange, um, it actually stops a checkmate, and because of the way my opponent played, it meant I got checkmate instead. Right, so let's move forward. My favourite um, move, um, Queen Rook to Queen Rook, what would be four or five? Sorry, sorry King Rook. King Rook to King Rook four or five, depending on your point of view. Now, that pawn is vital in the game. It looks harmless, but it's later going to turn out to be lethal. And is to try and stop um, the bishop threatening. Oh dear, I didn't spot that. That was a genuine blunder, which I did. A genuine blunder. But never mind. I haven't a clue what I'm doing at this stage, but I've got some ideas. I'm offering a queen exchange at this point. It's rejected, but I have some ideas. My aim is to try and get the queen here somehow. That's a clue for the future. I have a clever idea here. If they hadn't done that, I was going to do a forking check on the queen and the... Not a forking, yes, a forking check on the queen and... Where I'd attack the queen and the rook and I would get the queen. But never mind. They moved the, the knight so I couldn't do it. So I'm going to try and take the knight off. That was my original plan. But they've... Beaten my idea. Now I can threaten the queen and the rook. What I really want is for this queen to move off that row so that then I can take the knight and then no matter what it does I can then get checkmate so I'm trying to get the queen to take this and then move there somehow and I'm hoping if it's stupid enough to take my knight then I would take their knight and then whatever they did it would then be checkmate anyway we'll see what happens they didn't fall for it sorry um, no, I've no idea what's going on here. As I did this, just anything to threaten their bishop so that they might take the knight. Very clever move. I'm now somewhat trapped. I can't move the queen anywhere on that column without losing the queen. So I have to lose... A knight, or at least that's what I thought. I mean, I can't, wouldn't lose a knight because if I took, if they took the knight, um, I'd take their queen. So moving this bishop here.
We're getting ready for something. And they then threaten my queen. Moving back to that position before, which at the moment looks innocent, but um, now it's where it's going to get rather interesting. Now. What I was worried about was that they were about to move the, their queen here. Then it would be checkmate. If I move a pawn up here, they can simply take that and then again force checkmate. So I had no choice. I had no choice but to castle. I don't, I'm not a big fan of castling, but in this case I don't think I had a lot of choice. Now. At this point... I know that my knight, my king is very vulnerable because it can't move a lot. But nonetheless, I have a plan. The idea is I hope they take it somehow. Interesting. But how interesting. I'm not going to threaten their bishop. At this point, they decide to do a bishop exchange. Now I'm going to do something that's going to appear to be incredibly stupid. I move it to the corner where it is very dangerous. At this point, they think it's checkmate. It looks like I can't move the king out of the way. And all that, all that they have to do to get checkmate is somehow move here. So, for example, if I just did something silly, for example, like... So I move this here, for example, to threaten their queen. Even if, actually it would be a silly move, but even then, even if um, they took my queen, just to get out of some sort of checkmate, so then I could do that to somehow make the checkmate harder um, then that's not really what I wanted to do I have an even better plan than that a truly astonishing one even as I said I'm trying to stop them if I if I instead example so move there move and, and as I said even if they don't take it checkmate which I'm trying to avoid if I move any any other innocent piece checkmate if I move this here the rock here then Instead of moving there, they'd move all the way to the bottom. Checkmate. So I look pretty much doomed. 
but I have instead an absolutely killer move. I move the queen here. Now, at this point, my opponent was shocked. So shocked they spent about two minutes working out what to do next. And because if, for example, they move there, check, then queen takes queen, rook takes queen, so they've lost a queen and a rook, and then They've got a bishop, but that's it. But if I move back again, and don't forget at this point, they're up by a bishop and a rook. Um, the pawns, apart from one of them, are not really that important in the game at the moment. One of them is vital. Okay, and as if you've noticed, but one of the benefits of this, where I have my position now, is I've stopped a checkmate because an, an, an immediate checkmate. Because, as I said, the only way they can get checkmate is either um, to move down to the bottom, in which case they lose a queen and a rook, or they move here, in which case they lose a queen. And a rook. So but the, but the brilliance of this is if they do not take my queen off on the next move it will be checkmate. But will they notice? Well after about two minutes and if you don't believe me if you go back you'll find it's two four minutes fifty four four and the next move they made was at 2 minutes and 6, so it's nearly 3 minutes they spent thinking what to do. And then they moved here. Maybe it was their way of resigning. I have no idea. Maybe they hoped um, to do something. I have no idea, but anyway, I just took their queen straight off. Maybe they thought this would give them breathing space, and to be fair to them, they tried to move their rook out, but they were doomed no matter what they did at this point. Next move, this, it, looked, it looked threatening. And many people have just moved it out of the way. But I did not only moved it out of the way, I moved it into this area where the king was pinned in. Checkmate. So if I go back to here, who would have thought from a position like that that black would win with a checkmate? When it looked so obvious that white was going to win, even though white didn't win. Because it appeared to, there could be a checkmate by moving the queen here or there somehow. So there you go guys, never take a checkmate for granted, okay? Thanks for watching, bye!